Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome to Lily's Design. Today, I'll show you an easy way to thread your machine. I'll start with showing you how to make a square knot, as this is the key to running the thread smoothly through your machine and even through the eye of the needle. Let me show you how to tie a square knot with these elastic bands. This will be easier to view than with sewing thread. We'll take the white and place it on top of the black and loop it underneath. Take the white, place it on top again and loop it inside that hole. Grab all four strings and pull tight. When you pull on these two strings, your knot should stay in place. If the knot is sliding, pull till it locks in place. But if you keep sliding, you didn't do it correctly. Try again. Here's a diagram I created, and hopefully that will help you as well. And if you'd like to view this longer, just go ahead and pause the video. This easy threading method is a game changer. It can be used on a variety of machines. It has worked on a multi-needle embroidery machine, a single needle embroidery machine, a sewing machine, a cover stitch, a serger, even the needle for hand sewing. And that's only what I tested it on, but it could work on so many other machines. I'll demonstrate how easy this is and I'll show you how it works on all the machines I mentioned. First up is the multi-needle embroidery machine. We'll take some extra thread off the spool before we cut it. Remove it and place the spool you will be using and tie a square knot. You want to make sure it's a square knot because most knots will not go through the eye of the needle. Release your tension. Grab the thread down by the needle and start pulling on it. Now let's watch the restring thread run through the machine. When you get the knot down a tad bit past the lower guide plate and just before the eye of the needle, stop. Place a finger behind the thread and give a little slack. Then start pulling again and the knot should go smoothly through the eye of the needle. Just like that. Isn't it great? It's magic! For the following machines, I will not be showing the tying of the square knot or the releasing of the tension. This will help shorten this video, but remember you still have to do it. Slowly pull the thread through your machine. And through the eye of the needle. Being my sewing machine is the same as my single head embroidery machine. No sense in running the thread through it. Then I thought it would be a great idea to demonstrate a smaller eye of the needle. Being the needle I used in my embroidery demonstrations were 7511. So for this demo, I will be inserting a 7009 needle into the sewing machine. I'll tie a square knot at the end here. I'll take the foot off, this way you'll be able to view it better. I'll grab my tail and the thread up here. And then I'll slide it through the eye of the needle and as you can see, it glides nicely through. I'll go back again and it went through easily. I changed my thread and tied a square knot off camera. I'll zoom in so we can watch it run through the cover stitch machine. I 
I'll stop here and I'll remove the presser foot so you can view this better. Now I'll give a little slack up here on the thread and pull it through the eye of the needle. Next up is the overlock machine. I changed out my thread and I tied a square knot off camera as well as I removed the foot so you can view this better. We will be threading the left needle. You'll see the knot run up to the thread tree and down. Here it comes by the needle bar and right through the eye of the needle. While I have the machine out, I'll quickly run it through the upper looper and the lower looper. The last one I'll demonstrate is the hand sewing. If you need to re-thread your needle, don't take the thread off. Instead, grab the spool of thread that you'll be using next and tie a square knot. Then just glide the needle through the knot and that's it. It's that easy. I don't have any more machines or needles to demonstrate, but I'm sure you can't wait to go try it on your machine. So I'm not going to keep you too much longer. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button along with the bell. This way you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Thank you. Bye-bye.